Hey guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're enjoying your post Eurovision summer. I'm hoping you haven't got post Eurovision depression. And if you're watching uh, the European Football Championships, I hope you're enjoying those too. Of course, I'm not going to mention England's win against Croatia this afternoon. I'm only joking, guys. It was a great game played by both teams. But anyway, we're not here to talk about football. We're here to talk about Eurovision and Eurovision 2022. Now, as always, the rumours start quite soon uh, in the UK regarding who the UK would want to um, represent them at Eurovision in 2022. After a bad few years for the UK in terms of Eurovision, uh, the rumours have started already. British tabloids uh, reporting that apparently Jesse J has been approached uh, to represent the UK next year in Italy. How true this is, I don't know. We always hear lots of names every year. I have to say this is the first time that I've heard Jessie J's name mentioned. Now, the reports might be coming out because she also has a new single out this week. Uh, sometimes press is very clever if uh, an artist has something that they want to promote. Uh, she's released her new single, I Want Love. It's kind of a disco banger that Euro fans uh, would traditionally love. Um, guys, if you haven't listened to it, check it out. It's actually quite a good track and I'm not even the biggest Jessie J fan. Um, now, for those of you who don't know Jessie J, and I'm sure she's had kind of a career and she's quite well known uh, all around the world, including the USA, Australia, uh, Europe as well. Uh, she's been around for kind of 10 years as a, as a mainstream artist. Um, some of her early singles, Do It Like A Dude, Price Tag, you guys probably know those songs, right? Um, now, the last time I think she released an album uh, was about three or four years ago. I'm sure it was a kind of Christmas album, but she's releasing a new album this year. And the talk is if she's going to represent UK at Eurovision, that perhaps one of these tracks off her album might be the UK's entry for next year. Um, now, I have no idea which record label she signed to. I'm not sure if she's a BMG artist or not. That would obviously factor in it. Um, and am I happy that she could potentially be the UK's entry for Eurovision? I don't know, to be honest. Now, the UK's tried this before where they've uh, sent an artist who's trying to reignite their career. Um, you know, we all remember Bonnie Tyler, we all remember Blue, we remember Engelbert Humperdinck. Now, is Jessie J slightly different? Yes, she is, because she has still had a consistent career over the past 10 years. She's not someone that's kind of been uh, in the background for a few years and is now trying to remake a name for herself. Um, she's been a TV personality as well. Uh, some of you in the UK may remember her for um, being one of the coaches on The Voice UK. She then went to Australia, did the same thing. Um, and she was, I think she won like a Chinese singing competition. She was like the first international artist to win. I think it's called I Am The Singer or The Singer or something along those lines. She was the first international artist to win that competition. I think that was in 2018, so still quite recently. Yes, she hasn't had any huge success on the charts over the past few years, um, but you know, she's an amazing singer. She's got personality, she's got star quality. Uh, so you can rest assured that if she was to go to Eurovision, uh, she would bring it in terms of the performance and hopefully have a little bit of money behind her. So I wouldn't be against the idea. Normally I don't like the BBC uh, bringing kind of these older artists to try and reignite their careers but with Jesse J it doesn't seem like it would be a lost cause. Now is this something she would really want to do? I mean she's she's still got a career right now other than having access to that huge audience on one night of the year. Um, I don't know is this is this something a star like Jesse J would do or is this just the rumour mill in the UK beginning? No doubt we're going to hear loads of other names over the next few years. Um, if she went to Eurovision I always say it's not just about the artist it's about the song so if she did go I hope she wouldn't go with something that she thought was a Eurovision song and that she went with something really really credible um, and something that she enjoyed performing as well. I know that she has written songs as well but she's also recorded songs that are written by others so perhaps she could team up with some of her kind of songwriting uh, production friends and really uh, send a decent song for UK uh, to Eurovision in Italy. As I said the performance would be great hopefully she would uh, have some input into the staging as well so that it was staged in a way that she was comfortable with but Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. You know, it's June 2021. Uh, Eurovision is still like another year away. I doubt that if she was going to represent the UK, we'd be hearing about it now. Perhaps it is just a ploy to um, get her a bit of press attention um, because she has a new single out and a new album coming later in the year. But I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Would you guys like Jessie?
Jessie J to represent the UK at Eurovision? Or do you think there's some other artists around at the moment that would do a better job? Are you a Jessie J fan? What's your favourite Jessie J song? Let's get the conversation going in the comments down below and let us know what you think of this rumour. As I said, guys, it's only a rumour. Uh, nothing is confirmed and nothing will be confirmed until uh, much nearer to Eurovision. But maybe some of you will be hoping that the rumour will come true. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to love you and leave you until the next video. I'll see ya.